Is this what your Miata visor currently looks like? Mine did too. Simple fix. I'll show you next. So I got tired of playing with the Miata sun visors. You can no longer get just the small pieces for it. Repairs, replacement parts are very expensive. So if you can be handy with some tools and get some small gauge wire, I'll show you how to fix it. First thing you need to do is disassemble. Hopefully you can do that. Just the A pillars need to come out, the plastic parts, uh, Torx 30 size, hold out the uh, screws. Uh, there's a total of six. You can get the sub panel down and work on it a little bit easier. This is what the sub panel looks like. Again, here's the broken one. And this is the repaired side, as you can see, nice and neat, up hugging the top of the sun visor deck very closely. Uh, let me take that apart and show you what's going on. In order to remove this subassembly, it's pretty easy. Phillips screwdriver right here, unscrew that screw. Once you remove the screw, little subassembly here pulls right out, slides right out. Metal retainer clip, plastic pinion piece. Flip your sub assembly over, and your visor is held right now by just a little pinion in here. Pull the opposite direction, and it comes right out. There's your sub assembly. <clears throat> what we're going to do is work right in here. This is the visor along with the part of the sub-assembly that came out of. The portion that fits in here is the issue. You can take a look right there. There's a crack. That allows this to be a little bit larger than it should be. We're going to get this repaired by inserting a wire through it and tightening it up. We'll hide, end up hiding our wire in this channel area which we're going to open up just a little bit more. What I'm working with here is number 12 gauge Romex. I stripped a piece out. I also took the casing off of it so it's bare wire. If you happen to have 12 or 14 gauge uh, already bare solid that'll work. You need about three or four inches of it. Then you need to uh, select a drill bit size. I came to my drill bit box, took a look at it. Um, Romex fits pretty nicely into the 86 thousandths. Uh, 86 thousandths, that's somewhere uh, just a little bit smaller than 3 30 seconds. Uh, a little bit larger than a 5 64th drill bit. So if you've got one of those two, that should work. Next you want to prepare to drill this hole, but before you do, want to make sure you have an idea of where you're going to be drilling. You need to make sure that you miss this tab. You want to have your wire just on the edge. Here's the finished version. You can see this wire here is close to the edge. So when drilling, I lined my drill bit up with these upper slots. And in drilling, I take my bit and I work from the slot through to this portion on the sun visor, lowest part. Let me see if I can get that for you. I'm going to show you with my wire, but when I start to drill, I want to come to this slot farthest outside of the sun visor. Here's the sun visor this far the slot out. You're going to start your drill bit as low as you can and when you bring your drill bit through again you want it to just come out this side of the sun visor. So here's the piece drilled. It still has a drill bit in it and you can see the way I've angled so that it is just on the outside edge inside the sun visor and I started the bit right on that outside slot 
it goes all the way through. Now that you have that drilled, you want to clean up this rib. You want to remove this rib back a little bit, as I've done here. See how I took the rib out? That way you've got an area for your wire once you get it twisted. You have an area for it to sit so it's out of the way, not riding high on the sun visor so that it won't catch as you're closing it. How I remove that rib is with a sharp utility knife. You get it in there and then your end pieces you can cut with a small side cuts uh, or you can continue to work out. If you have a Dremel tool that'll also work too. And there it is with the rib removed. Now you can insert that wire and start wrapping it around prepared to lock it in. Here's my insertion of the wire. Flip it over and you can see that it comes out this end. What I do is I come in with needle nose and channel locks and when you wrap this around you want to make sure it's tight. So you're going to wrap it all the way around to this portion here. That way you can get ready to twist it to lay it in. There's the wire wrapped around now. Loose of course right now I haven't twisted it tight. Uh, but that's what it looks like. The other thing too that I do is I put a little notch right here. Again, just side cuts or whatever. It helps when you start twisting. That wire will lay in there and it'll help keeping the wire from sliding either up or back on the visor itself. We'll go ahead and twist it now and you can see what it looks like twisted. Here's the component twisted. And now what you're going to try to do is lay it into that channel but you can trim off the excess before you do that. You can see already that that portion that's been cracked is already tightened up. That'll hold that pinion a little bit easier. Here it is laying in there. As you can see, I trimmed the ears off, uh, slowly pushed it in. You can take a flat blade screwdriver, tap it in. You wanna to try to get it laying down as best you can. Um, you can also take some channel locks and go around this ring and uh, make sure that there's no flat spots on it. Uh, again, you want to make sure that the wire is as close to this end as possible. You don't want it in board too far. That should work. Now I'm going to go ahead and tape up my visor, shoot a little bit of black paint on it, uh, and we'll get back to set the assembly. Here's the uh, visor, put a little bit of painter's tape on it. Uh, I'm going to prep um, now, shoot some flat black paint to uh, hide the copper wire a little bit better, and we'll get it reinstalled. Here's the piece with a little bit of paint on it. I think it hides it well. Um, once you get it installed, it won't be noticeable at all. Installation is complete. Pretty much just have to slide the black pinion back in. Put the screw, a Phillips screw in, and you can see hugging the sub assembly nicely. Uh, works pretty well too. Unfortunately, don't have enough hands. Get it back installed, and I'll show you it installed in the vehicle. Now the uh, sun visor assembly back into the car. So you can see the visor. Holding up nicely, fixed. Um, word of wise, word of wisdom. When you put this back in, pretty easy. You've got your A pillar cover, just two locations that need to snap in. Same thing here, uh, one snap in right above the headlamp or the courtesy light. And then there's six Torx bolts to go in I've had these Torx bolts loosen out, so what I do when I install them, I use a little bit of blue Loctite on all six. You know they're not coming back out, falling on you. There you are. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.